In this video, we'll talk about the print options because many of our projects require us to print out a template or the design information and we'll find that under our file drop down menu. Here you can see print as artwork as my option and I'm going to turn that on and what you'll see is it's going to print out a page. This is an example of what the page will look like. There's the, um, the graphics in artwork form, I guess, and the name of the design, the size, I can control what information is included like the header or the backdrop or the binder space or just the design only and you know sort of the scale and auto fit and I can either save this as a JPEG or I can print it or you could choose like a setup to you know interact with your printer settings but in general you say okay to print the design now if it was an embroidery design so let's just click on the tab here that says untitled this is an embroidery design that I created from one of the uh, built-in I guess NGS files and notice now if I say file, I have the option of print as artwork, as we did before, which would show me, which would allow me to print the artwork of this design and all the same settings. Or I could choose file and print. So this is a different choice. And with print, now it interacts like an embroidery design. And so the printout is showing me sort of a realistic view of the embroidery design. And I can control whether I want to include all of these different things, whether it be the header or the design information. or And so there's little check boxes that you can control the color changes, the sequence icons. So if you don't want the sequence icons, you can turn them off or back on again. So yeah, you get to choose what's on your page before you say print. And that's very important. So um, depending, you know, as you'll find with this software, depending on what you have in your design, your options change. And so this was a good example of how if I don't have any embroidery in my design, such as this phonograph, then I'm only really given the option to print the artwork. But if there was some embroidery and I, you know, even if you just made a little bit of embroidery, like created a, you'd have to turn on, I guess, the technique for embroidery and then I could create something. So whatever, made a piece of applique, then presumably I should be able to say print and get just that applique would print, not the artwork. So they're different things. The embroidery stitches, printing the embroidery stitches is different than printing the artwork. And you have both options under your file drop down menu.